good morning welcome back to the channel and uh, happy new year this is the first video of 2023 so let's start as we mean to go on so today we are headed to Carlisle up on Ridgedalen we've, uh, we've stopped up got our coffee we've got our food if you have a couple of cockmouth Lindsay's for a bit Cumberland sausage and bacon roll you will not be disappointed Anyway, yeah, new start of the year. We are off to uh, meet James, good friend, um, who is running electrical safety workshops up and down the country. So James owns a company called uh, Electromech and they're based in Hull. And they've been running uh, these workshops in Hull for quite some time now. And they're very popular. But he decided that he was going to take it on the road. And today is the first one. So we're off to Carlisle. So let's get on, let's get our miles under our belt and uh, take you through the day. I think it's going to be a good day. So I'm an electrical engineer by trade and the only way to keep abreast and basically what we call competent is to continuously learn and train. So I love doing courses like this, um, I think if you're passionate about what you do you keep yourself up to date with, with what's going on and uh, I can't say I'm the best auto electrician in the world because I'm, I'm, I'm not <laughs> you know I, uh, I deal with electrics on a daily basis but I also train every year I, um, I have to show that I am competent in what I do and these little courses help all of that so if you're not, say, the best, or you've not got the confidence to start your build, either go on one of these courses, and that will then educate you enough to make that decision, do I want to carry on, or do I want to pay somebody to do this? I'll be honest with you, um, a lot of people are overwhelmed by electrical installations, and some of the questions that get asked on forums, are genuine questions but people think they know what they're talking about and to be honest with you there's a lot of people out there and we all know this that haven't got a clue but they put a lot of information out there and that either deters people or makes people do things that isn't that aren't right you know something we need to discuss and this is I, I love these forums because you could you could disappear down rabbit holes if you wanted but there's something we need to discuss and we need to address and basically it's dead simple every electrical installation in this country is regulated that means there is <laughs> there are rules to be followed even in this thing, there's rules to be followed. So BS 7671 is the regulations. Um, basically, it's an electrician's bible. It, it is to, it's designed to make it compliant with the law. So if you follow BS 7671 and you don't depart from that, or if you can demonstrate justification for not following it, if you're ever taken to court for anything, you can you can try you can you, you can try and say that you've followed the regulations to the best of your ability. It might not be a good defence, but as long as you work to those rules, you should never go wrong. And that is the top and bottom of it. They even have a, a, a thing called the on-site guide. Now that's more for um, domestic installers and industrial installers and stuff like that, but. At the end of the day, all this information is there to protect you and the end user. So, all these guys that say the regulations are for professionals, get your head out your asses, lads. There's no such thing as a professional. In a court of law, you're either competent or you're not. So, if you're doing electrical work and you've got no qualifications, do something about it because if you get caught or if you harm somebody if you're running this as a business 
Um, and there's a lot of people out there doing electrical installation work and not getting it signed off by a professional. You can find yourself in a world of pain. I, really, I mean that. Um, I wouldn't. <clears throat> you might have noticed on the channel I don't really talk about electrical installations. I always tell you, if you're not competent, get somebody who is. So I always stick by that as well. I will always stick by that. Go on one of these courses, educate yourself. Um, 12 volt systems are still dangerous. You need to know how to protect yourself. You need to know what protective devices you need to install. You need to know how to size the correct cable. Make sure that you're using the correct RCDs. All this good stuff, you can be taught this in this in this on this course. But anyway, the waffling from me. Let's get the car out. Good coffee, this. Can't beat a, a good brew while you're driving. Keep you focused. Yeah, full of ergy at the minute. Um, <coughs> sinus infection, all that good stuff that winter brings. Heads pounding. But really, really looking forward to it. Don't want to miss it. I'm going to try and get there early. Just making sure my mic isn't covered up. Sorry. I'm going to try and get there early. Have a crack with James. And I've even brought him. <laughs> Bribery and corruption is rife in West Cumbria. I'll always look after your instructor. Anyway, it's a nice quiet drive to Carlisle this morning. I'm happy. New Year. Let's see what mess we can make of this one. <laughs> Wait till you see this. Look at the size of this bad boy. Now, um, I would say I'm a bit of a sausage connoisseur. <laughs> I've, I've, um, I've had quite a lot of sausage. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm, I'm biased. I, um, I love Cumberland sausage. Um, but this has to be the best sandwich out there. Now, Volker. Volker, who travelled to our crafty camp out in spring last year, he brought some uh, curryverse with him. Now I love curryverse as well. He brought um, he brought this curryverse sauce. Oh my god, it was amazing. Um, I'm gonna have to probably drive to where Volker lives just to get some of this sauce because it was it was it's a local one. Um, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But even even Volker was amazed by this sandwich. Um, they're not cheap, but nothing that's good is, is it? I love these. Anyway, I'm going to have my breakfast and while we're driving and I'll save a bit of time when we get there. Anyway, see you soon. Well, welcome to Carlisle. A very rainy Carlisle today, so it's just started to rain as we pulled in. Um, Our spirits today, anyway. We're inside. So, right in front of us, there is the Cars Biscuit Factory. It's owned by McVitie's, but it used to be called Cars, and everybody still calls it Cars. But uh, right in front of us, we've got the castle, but it's you can't really see it at the minute. So I don't know if you can see, but on this blue building here on the right hand side, look at that mural. I've got some footage of it, I'll chop it in. On your left you've got the castle. Looks like there's a couple of camper vans up here. <laughs> right, well we're here Carla, as you can see. There's a few vans here already. And uh, it looks like it's going to be a promising day. Oh. Let's get in and get educated. <laughs> the rain's dried up anyway, that's a bonus. Let's have a little look where we're going. So we're here at Protec. Mick and Rita. Well, it's lunchtime, we've had a little break now. 
Um, I just thought I'd give you a bit of an update. So this morning we covered like health and safety and all the good stuff that goes with any training course. Um, we're now looking at selection of equipment, cabling, um, how to install stuff correctly, and basically working out cable sizes and all that sort of good stuff. Um, really informative, very, very interesting, and uh, a great diverse range of people here. So we've got a few vans in today, there's a little T28 over there, two Mercedes and myself in my van. But um, we're at ProTech. It's ProTech, um, they're like a security firm and, and training inspector in Carlisle. But the owner, John, he's got a van as well, he races carts, his son races carts, sorry, and motocross. So they're in the, in the process of building a van and uh, yeah, very interesting. Great facility, we've just had lunch like I say, spot on, really enjoyed today and it's nice to be meeting people and having a good chat about stuff, I <laughs> put me in a room with somebody who owns a van and we're, we're going to occupy ourselves for a long long time, put me in a room with a lot of people that um, have, a, have vans and like vans and are interested in them, we could be here all week, brilliant day, really enjoyed it, having a lot of, uh, having a good laugh. Anyway, if you need any reassurance or if you need to feel a little bit more competent in your electrical system or knowledge about your electrical system or just give you that little bit of a boost so you want to do the work yourself, come on James's course, it's well worth it. It's 105 quid, that's what it's costing today for anybody that's on this course. It's worth every penny, I guarantee you you'll get something out of it. Anyway, got to get back in, they're waiting for me. <laughs> I like how hard you are, yeah. how big you think you are, so we The information you receive in this workshop keeps you engaged, keeps you involved, and before we know it, it's time to go home. Give us a wave. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was an absolutely brilliant day. Really, really enjoyed it and um, met some lovely people. Um, it's been a really good day. Opportunity to talk um, through issues, talk through um, experiences as well. And the good thing about the way James runs this course, he doesn't move on unless everybody understands what he, the point he's trying to make and um, that's that's good teaching that everybody's getting the same level of um, instruction and information and if there is something you need to you need to ask it's a nice friendly environment where you can ask the question and, and not feel that you're going to be ridiculed or, or or made to feel stupid I really have enjoyed myself today like I said before put me in a room full of people who enjoy building camper vans, who enjoy the whole van life experience and I'll talk for days, you know what I mean, and there was a little section there where I, I had a bit of input on van, van weight and your budgeting and stuff like that. Um, James ran it, but obviously I've spent a lot of time researching this and, you know, any questions I had, I think I answered them well. but. Um, if you go on to this event, you, you, you will enjoy it, I guarantee you. I know the next one's in Worcester and it's had a lot of interest. So if you're thinking of going, get in touch, pay your money, get booked on, don't hang around procrastinating because I tell you what, I've built vans in the past, I've built vans for a year and I've took information away from today and you know, I just, I just thought it'd be nice to come along and have a have a listen to see what James is doing, champion him, support him. But actually, I come away from it learning something, which is why I went really. Um, you know, hoping I would find something. But I believe, it doesn't matter what stage you are in your build, even if you've got it built, there's people been there today that have bought vehicles and just want to understand how it all works. 
it's great for that. For somebody who knows nothing about van electrics or solar or, or this power distribution, that course there will help you. Um, even if you, like I said before, if you do know quite a bit about electrics as well, it will just tidy up a few loose ends and questions and all the rest of it. But again, it is, it is what it is, you know, it's a, it's a brilliant little course um, and I'm glad he's took it to the road and I'm glad that the people that were there today l liked it and benefited from it. So that's enough waffling from me, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just sit back, I'm in a good mood, I've enjoyed myself, I'm just gonna enjoy this drive home. Anyway, I'll speak to you in a little while. Why not head over and check out our new website? www.thecraftyblinders.co.uk Make sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok and our Facebook group The Crafty Blinder Van Builds Thanks for watching